We are Danielle and Tommy. We've been traveling around North America for the last three years, and now we're renovating this 1973 Airstream. In this episode, we'll be bringing you guys along as we install our new Nebbia by Moen Quattro shower head. Oh wow, this is really nice. Oh, this looks great, Tommy. In our last episode of our Airstream renovation, we wrapped up almost all of our bathroom renovation. So we have completely changed the placement and rebuilt the bathroom in our 1973 Airstream and we are finally ready to install our new shower head. Our shower head just came in the mail today. We are excited to try one of these shower heads out. They're really great on water conservation and if you camp like we do, where we are pretty much never at campgrounds, saving water is a huge deal. So very excited to try this. Looks really cool. It's like a faucet from space. Ooh. Whoa, look at this. That is very cool. I really like this, how it changes. Nice. A few things about this product before we start the installation. This is what comes in the box. There's only three directions in the little pamphlet right here. So this is the cradle. This side will connect to that half inch pipe that is the shower arm. This is the hose for the shower. One side will connect to that end and the other side will connect to that end. A few things about cost. This one is less than half of the cost of the Nebbia where it was just the mist setting and it had the arm where it was stationary. Um, it saves about 50% more water than a normal shower head does and it's just classic looking and it'll go in any bathroom. I'm gonna go ahead and thread on the cradle which is the part that the shower head going to sit on with the magnet. So I've already put the Teflon tape around the threads to this part and start threading it on. The way that our shower head came shipped to us in the box, the washers were already in all the spots that they needed to be. So it comes with three washers. One is on the inside of the cradle on this side, and then the shower head gets a washer on this end and a washer on this end. So the next step is to install those washers if yours are not, and then hand tighten the hose to shower head cradle and the hand shower. So, whoa, this is longer than I thought it was gonna be. Whoa. And it seems like it doesn't matter which side it goes on. Double check to make sure my washer is in. And then do the same with this end. Nice. Oh wow, this is really nice. Oh, this looks great. And that is the end of the installation. So that was super quick and easy. Um, there is one thing that I wanted to do. So the cradle has a gimbal on it. And you can adjust the way that this sits. So I'm gonna have it sitting higher up because Tommy is taller than me. So that was the Nebbia Quattro install. We are gonna go ahead and do a water test um, later today. Super easy install. Some of the main differences with the Quattro, this one is a stationary shower head, but you also have the option of taking it off. And I think something that they didn't have before is there's multiple functions on this. You can use the hard spray, which is one of our favorites because after a long hike, we can really rinse off all the dirt. And then rinsing off our dogs just got a lot easier while traveling. We can bring them inside and rinse them off quickly in the Airstream. Um, all in all, I think this installation took about five minutes. It looks really, really great with all of our matte black accents. 